Good morning, homesteaders, gardeners, and cooks. My name is Jennifer. Welcome to Miles Away Farm, or welcome back. We are making a black locust syrup today. Black locusts are a tree that's native to the United States, and they are, at this point, found everywhere in the U.S., and so they're all over the place. They are in the pea and bean family, so they're nitrogen fixing. And one of the things that they're known for is their wood. They have very hard, rot-resistant wood, and so you find them on homesteads all over the place because the wood was used for fence posts back in the day. And you will still find old black locust fence posts uh, on old homesteads even today. Uh, and they bloom in the spring. I have another video on this where I talk about, I use the when the black locust blooms as the phenology cue for when I plant my tomatoes because the black locust blooms late in the season. Our general rule of thumb around here is to plant your tomatoes on Mother's Day and when our black locust blooms is just about that same time of year. And so it's based on soil temperature. It'll bloom a little bit earlier or a little bit later, depending on whether we've had a wet cold spring or a warm dry spring. And so that tree is basically monitoring all kinds of temperatures out there that I'm not actually paying that close of attention to. But when that tree blooms, I know the soil has warmed up enough that it's time to plant my tomatoes. I have never thought about doing anything with the blossoms. They smell like great bubble yum they're very fragrant the bees love them and so it's always kind of an event when the black locust tree on our property blooms but I'd never thought about whether or not you could do anything with them and I just recently ran across a post on Instagram from a forager that I follow and he had made a black locust syrup and I suddenly realized oh these are actually edible that's really fun I totally want to try that and so we went ahead and made just a very small batch of black locust syrup it tastes quite a bit like the way it smells so it is um, sweet obviously and there's some lemon in this as well to help stabilize the pH and to give it a little bit of a tang but it's definitely got that floral sweet not quite great bubble yum but definitely has a floral sweet lovely flavor to it and it's just delightful in cocktails and at the end of this video I make a cocktail with some of this black locust syrup and some gin. So yeah, really delightful, definitely worth doing. According to the post from the forager that I follow, you could water bath can this. I would wanna check the pH before I went ahead and do that. There's not enough sugar in this to help actually preserve it. And so I would wanna make sure that there was enough lemon juice in this that the pH was set. But as long as the pH is below 4.6, theoretically you could actually can this and have it be shelf stable as well. This was just a small experimental batch and so I didn't bother to do that. We will enjoy it in cocktails over the next month or so and then we'll be done with it. The other thing I did do once I started realizing that you could actually do things with the flowers on the black locust was I picked enough that I made a batch of this syrup but I also just poured vodka over uh, some blossoms and then I'll strain this off and add some sugar and this will be a black locust liqueur. Notice the difference in color here. So it's interesting, I'm guessing that the pink color here is either due to the pH from the lemon juice in there, or that the water extracted a different compound than the alcohol extracts. And so when you're doing extractions from botanicals, you generally can use water, you can use alcohol, you can use glycerin, but like attracts like. And so they're all gonna extract slightly different compounds from the material that you're using and you're gonna get different results. So it'll be interesting. I've let this sit for about a week. I'm gonna strain it off um, this weekend and we'll give this a try as well. But I'm expecting it to be slightly different flavor-wise than this is, obviously because it's got vodka in it. And if you ever wanna do something like this, just buy the cheapest big jug of vodka that you can find. It doesn't have to be high test high-end stuff, but it'll be interesting to see what the flavor difference is in terms of what compounds have been extracted. But black locust syrup, what a fun project. And who knew that this tree that we've had in our yard, it was here when we bought the property. So I've been watching this tree bloom for 13 years and it never occurred to me that I could actually do something and make something out of the blossoms. Let's get started. 